Today, I was able to make $126 in two different trades within 10 minutes of the market being open. Here's how. Please enjoy the stream cap. Yesterday was uh, exciting. Let's see what today brings, though. We're still on the channel to the downside. Just because there's moving up does not mean that the trend is finished. So that's kind of where I'm like putting that in the back of my head to be cautious, you know, but also just to take it as it is. Make the most out of the moves. What a ripper of a day yesterday. It was fun. We got yesterday's value rate high sitting at 700. If we break 700 and get back inside of it, then we're looking for the rotations significantly farther down. Overnight high sitting at 876. Pop overnight high should have a nice little run or continued run, I should say. You're going to be trading like I've been trading in the past couple days. Watching Delta to see what, what Delta is doing. Doing my best to follow the trend and, you know, make the, the most out of this morning session as I can. Delta looks good. Appears to be a buy the dip situation as of right now. Nice rips. Uh, Na Nasdaq just ran the overnight highs at 76. Minute 25 left on this candle. Uh, pointing control has not moved. Pushing back into volume at 20. Pointing control here. Uh, fully retracing that entire opening range move at this point almost. Some buyers coming through on the NAS. I'm long one. That was like an instant fill. Put my order in and it just shot right through it. I'm going to take that off. <clears throat> take my true seven points there. Would probably would have gotten filled here, but I don't trust it. Take my 140, be happy with that. I was looking for a long here right at the uh, top of the range on the pullback because we did have some buyers coming through. So I thought we were going to pull back and rip. Ended up pulling back just a little more and then ripping. So we'll take that. On to the next. Nice buy up here to go test uh, opening range low and VWAP. That's going to be a worth it sell for me on the opening range and VWAP test if we get there. Short one. Looked away for a half second. All right, this is VWAP and opening range, wick test all playing out at the same time. That's a pretty hard rejection there. See if we can run it out a little bit more. I really want to see us go test the overnight lows. I just don't know if that's going to happen or not. Uh, a little buy up here after that slap. I'm taking that off. I don't like that. I don't want it to go back up and test VWAP. Uh, that typically yields a push through, which is exactly what we're seeing here. That trade was like immediately in the money. I really thought we were going to have a really hard rejection there. So it was worth it to at least play it out in my opinion losing five bucks i'm not going to you know complain about obviously we were in the green several hundred dollars like immediately could have killed that but i really thought we were going to get the quick flush to uh to the lows so that's fine uh to the to the wick test strategy that played out technically perfect <laughs> that was exactly what we wanted to see i just was greedy um, if you do exclamation point wick in the video, you'll hear me talk about the fact that like I'm looking for a 50% retrace of the prior wick. It's exactly what we saw. And I always say it's good for a handful of points. That was like 15 points immediately. So I should have probably taken that off, but you know, you live and learn. And we are sitting back at 800 view up. We've taken what two trades. Um, we're up 126 bucks or whatever. It's just, there's not a whole lot of actionable moves at this point, in my opinion, or moves that I'm willing to, you know, trade i feel confident about the first two trades i took this trade i just was a little greedy so i took a five dollar loser on both trades i took though i felt great about it's just we haven't seen much more of that since then um i think that we're gonna end up having some good movement it's just at what point does that happen we'll see 